They don't fit. Can we shoot right now? Huh? Can we shoot right now? Shoot, shoot. That's not going to fly. What you got right there in your hand? Why don't we just lower the front of the motor? Yeah, that's it. Oh, we're, we're shooting, huh? Are we rolling? Yeah. As you can see, Bob, we're going to need to put an aftermarket air cleaner on here. Because with this distributor set up, the flamethrower set up, and this carburetor that is an 84... That's uh, I know. We're just gonna try it. I already tried it. It's the same thing. Damn. We'll try <laughs> it. Darn. Gosh darn. But anyway, G, G Willikers, yeah. Batman. G Willikers. Yeah. So we're gonna need to put an aftermarket air cleaner on here. Open element because it will not clear flamethrower distributor with mid '80s Motocraft Holly carburetor. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. Bob's 1969 Mustang GT Convertible OEM, guys, and looking gorgeous. Can't put me in the engine, Bobby. Can't put you in the engine? Yeah, you said you are going to put a stone. Oh, hardy har har. Well played, sir. All right. Yeah, I got to put a stud still on the intake, but that is going to fit much better. That'll get us to the alignment shop. And we'll see what you want to do. Bob, go ahead and talk to Will. See what you want to do about this, and uh, we'll go from there. Bobby driving the GT for the first time. I've ne I have never driven this car. I have never driven it. And Bobby is driving it over to Bankside Auto to get a front end alignment on her. So she's heading out. We, got, we do have an exhaust leak, Bob, that we discovered. Uh, one of our donuts didn't seat properly. The dashboard still needs to get worked on, as you guys can see. But she is done. That is a drop of, is that? Cut. So uh, here she is, and we are. Where's the uh, steering? Where's the box? Where's the actual box? We shot video of that meeting. Where, where's the air box? Where's the... We shot video of that meeting. What are you? It does not fit with that distributor because it has a flamethrower distributor. It does not fit. What's vibrating? What am I hearing? Oh, this thing's vibrating. All right. Why did that start to cut out? Is that you? Huh? Why did that start to cut out when I did that? All right, so we got some adjustments to do. This is normal, normal stuff, but we're heading over and we are gonna get a front end alignment on her so Bob can drive her tomorrow. What, what, what? Come here, what? Come here. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh wait, tilt away wheel demonstration. Like, Shut it off, ah, We got a working tilt away wheel. Good job, Robert. Isn't that beautiful? Good job, Robert. You're welcome. Good job, Bobby. Thank you, sir. And uh, there she is, she's heading out. Tim helped too. And Tim, thank you, Tim. You're welcome. Uh, and, and there and there it is. The GT's going out for front end alignment. She's going to have to need some tinkering. Uh, but Bob, Bob is going to be able to drive her. That's the goal, is that he gets to drive her tomorrow. GT, heading out for her maiden voyage for a front end alignment, guys. Is that is that it? I got to put the, uh, is that it, Robert? Yeah. You're closing the hood? All right, he's closing the hood. We're closing the hood. We're really closing the hood. Yeah. And, there, and there, and there, the, 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 the hood pins are getting secured. And Bobby is now driving the Bankside Auto. There's Carlos. All right, do it, Bobby. Bobby, drive it. Drive that pony, Bobby! And there she goes. Look, her maiden voyage. I'm so proud. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, she's driving. She's driving.
There she goes, Bob. She's getting her front in alignment. She's rolling the GT 69 convertible is rolling away from Mustang Medic. And she still needs to be tinkered with. Lots of tinkering to ensue. And there she goes. I can't believe it. This is an exciting video for me. That's the coolest Canadian I've ever met. Sorry, Ross. I still need a door with this guy. Yeah. Restoration. <laughs> you can do it again. Carol Shelby, you're the coolest man. You built some awesome cars. That was better. That was better than like, you know, Disneyland, Great Adventure, and everyone put the sex. I would do that. For <laughs>